In this video, I want to talk about tracing from a reference photo. So this is one that we've got on a new layer. I just imported this and I can just move it anywhere I want. What I might do is enlarge it, make it a bit bigger. Um, and it doesn't matter if it gets a bit blurry because it, I'm just using it as reference. So I'm just going to make it that big and then I'll bring the opacity down as well uh, for that layer, just so uh, I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I'll create a new layer which will sit on top and that will be my paint layer. So just before we start with painting with the brush, I just want to show you um, something called anti-alias, if you're not familiar with. I'm just going to hide that layer for the time being and I'll zoom in. So if I choose a brush like the airbrush, for instance, um, and I choose black as my foreground color, um, I get a soft edge. Now. If you click on the brush settings area, which is the one next to where you choose your brush, there's a little box called anti-alias. Now, if that's unchecked and you draw a stroke, um, it doesn't look that different until you zoom in and you can see that the first one is actually a lot softer than the second. Now, it actually makes more sense when you choose a brush like the uh, basic hard round brush, this one here. So once again, let me make a stroke. And then click on the brush settings, uncheck the box for anti-alias, and then you'll see that the second one is actually harsher. That's the first one with anti-alias on, and that's the second one with, with it off. So just make sure that when you are using the brush tools to make sure that um, that setting, uh, sorry, here, that setting is actually ticked, and you'll get a softer edge. All right, so let me just undo that and bring back my um, my photograph. And uh, I, I'm on the new layer. I'm using a hard round brush. I'm gonna zoom in. And this is what tracing is all about. You zoom in nice and close. You can hold down the space bar to move the photograph into view. And then um, I might make my brush size a bit bigger. I'm using 100% opacity. So I'll just make my brush size, oh, let's go for, um, what's that size there? Uh, a bit bit small. I'll make it a bit fatter than that. All right, so this is going to be pretty rough. I'm just going to show you um, quite quickly that you can trace around a photograph. And I'm just doing this fairly quickly. You can stop and have a break and go all the way around and the same on the other side. Um, so just yeah, don't mind all the bumps. And of course, uh, if you want to trace within the peaks as well, all those little shadow areas, uh, you can do that as well. So, you know, you can take your time and uh, just get the lines and the shapes and, you know, all the forms to, to work to your advantage. And here we go. So I won't do the whole lot, uh, but if I hide the photograph, you can see it's not a bad go. And so this is one really good way of tracing with the paintbrush tool uh, over a photograph that's on another layer.